Hello, I'm Ty Mason of the DiabetesCouncil.com, researcher, writer, and I have type 2 diabetes. Today I'm going to answer the question, is peanut butter good for diabetes? But before we get into that, make sure you download my free diabetes management book, which also includes a diabetes grocery shopping guide, foods to eat and avoid, by clicking the link below. Now I'm sure we all have heard who invented peanut butter, right? Yes, the ancient Aztecs developed mashed peanuts many, many years ago. Oh, you thought I was going to say George Washington Carver? Well, he did invent something similar to what we call peanut butter today. Although Marcellus Gilmore Edson was awarded the U.S. patent number 306727 for the manufacture of peanut butter in 1884, Carver was only 20 at the time, but probably closer to what we use today was developed by Dr. John Harvey Kellogg, yes, the cereal guy, in 1895. But even more what we might know as peanut butter today was developed by a St. Louis doctor who made a spread for his patients who needed protein but had trouble chewing. This spread was first introduced at the St. Louis World's Fair in 1904. Now, regardless of who invented it, I really like peanut butter. I personally am a Jif guy, with all due respect to the Skippy and other brand lovers. Nutritionally, peanut butter is a powerhouse. Two tablespoons of peanut butter contain approximately 12 grams of healthy poly and monounsaturated fats, nearly 8 grams of protein. Peanut butter also has no cholesterol. The carbohydrate content of peanut butter is minimal, less than 7 grams per serving. The glycemic index of peanut butter, a very low 14, which brings my favorite indicator, the glycemic load, to absolutely zero. Peanut butter will not elevate your blood sugar, and it also helps regulate blood sugar with all the amino acids and proteins. As a matter of fact, when eaten with high GI foods, peanut butter also helps lower the spike of blood sugar after eating. Carol S. Johnson, a Ph.D., led a study at the Arizona State University where researchers compared the blood sugar levels of two meals. Now, one meal consisted of a buttered bagel and juice. The second meal replaced butter with peanut butter, which resulted in a minimal rise and fall of blood sugar, while the buttered bagel raised the level considerably more. So, yes, peanut butter is very good for diabetes. Eat up. Just be careful with the jelly. I hope this answered your question, is peanut butter good or bad for diabetes? Don't forget to get your diabetes management book by clicking the link in the description box below. And please subscribe to our channel if you like what we're doing. And as always, let me know if you have any other diabetes-related questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ty Mason.